Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and now we have Sound Toys Filter Freak and all the other cool Sound Toys plugins on Pro Tools 11. I wanted to show you a really cool trick you can do with Filter Freak on the stuff that you often get free or the, the plugins that you want to give some extra life to. So I'm, I'm using this on Boom and Expand, and I'm using it on Hybrid. And Hybrid is a killer synth as far as I'm concerned anyway, but what you can do with any of these kind of synths, like as I say, the stuff you get thrown in with Logic or the stuff you get thrown in with, with Cubase or any of those, is is often where they're really lacking is really in the the filters and really in the in the audio path they don't really emulate real synths as well as they could do and the great thing about filter freak is when i'm going to show you filter freak i'm going to use it but i'm not really going to use the filtering i'm just going to use the path here this path here called the analog mode and i will say straight away and they say it clearly in their manuals that if you go to analog mode it will take up more processor power but it's well worth it and you can of course always print these stems anyway or bounce them offline bounce them if you need to get some energy back so i'm going to show you on a synth i'm going to show you on a beat and then i'm going to show you on a bass and what i'm basically doing is using the analog modeling part of this not really the filters i use the filters for a moment and i'll show you how you could use the filters but generally i'm using the analog modeling part of this just to add some real beef so here's a synth part i've done with hybrid and let me play it to you first i'm just going to solo it very popular sound it's a, it's a saw with it's a multi-saw basically that's got some chorus and some delay on it Let me show you this now. So what I'm doing is here is I'm going to the analog mode, I'm switching it on, and then if you hit this button here, you get these different options here. And I'm using the squash option on this synth, and what, what I'm then doing is pushing the gain stage up and taking the gain stage down. When you first open it, you'll have it in Unity Gain, which these are both set at, uh, at sort of 12 o'clock, that's Unity Gain. So the one thing you've got to be sure of when you do this is that you don't basically just increase the volume because anything uh, can sound better when the volume is increased. But what we can do here instead is we can get we can get the gain matched up. But if you listen to this now, so I'll play it your first again uh, with out. <laughs> And let me turn it on for you. Now what you'll hear is the transient front end. And what I mean by that, that, that the front end is much harder now. It's, much, it's got much more energy to it. So if you listen to it again without, and halfway through, I'm going to turn it on this time. Or turn it, in fact, I'll go the other way around. I'll, t I'll leave it on and then turn it off and you'll hear. Particularly listen to the front end and how hard the front end is with it on. off. Get the bite in that now. So let's go to a beat now. So I've got to boom. Uh, it's what ships with Pro Tools. Uh, it's free. And I'm just placing it basically a 909 kind of kit thing. And first I'm going to turn Filter Freak back off and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So this time I've got it in analog mode, but I'm using the, the dirt version. And as you can see as well, I've got the input up quite high and then the output down to match it. So that's it without. Here now we're sort of getting a bit of break up there. Also, it's gluing the whole thing together, the kick and the snare and the hats. That's in. Back out again. The difference for that is actually quite serious. Really, really gluing those together. I really love it on that uh, that boom. So the last thing I've got is a very simple uh, four note bass synth thing going on and let me show you Filter Freak on that as well. In particular that top end is a bit sort of like just not very good to be honest. So we use this now. Just to glue it all back together again a bit. And um, this time, using the squash mode, add a bit of filter in there as well. You 
Let's hear those three together now. So that's on. Let's mute them all now, bypass them. And back in again. Feel how that's all glued together now. It's really, really nice. Play the whole track now. I'm going to just play it from the beginning. We've got bits coming in and out. And you can just hear it going on during the track. So on the synth. Automating the filter here, watch this. Let's bypass them all again, one last time. So the track's not glued together at all. So what I did here, as you saw, I automated this. So I've got an automation lane running on the synth, and we basically have the filter frequency dropping down and coming back in. So again, one more time, this is with it in. Out. And back in again. If you're going to invest in anything, you've got a lot of free stuff on your door, a lot of free synths and drum machines and stuff, then you can go a, a long way using Filter Freak simply. Of course, it's an amazing filter. It's got amazing filtering stuff, and we'll look at that in another video. But just using the audio side of this, just using the signal path on this and the analog mode is a really cool way of taking your synths and giving some real balls and some real grunt. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.